One of the most often overlooked things I see whenever people are going out to buy flash storage, whether it be an SSD or a flash drive or an SD card, is the actual read and write speed on it. Most people only look for capacity when they also should be looking at the speed. And you've probably seen sales from time to time where flash drives, for instance, have the exact same capacity, yet they have wildly different prices. So, for instance, this 64 gig flash drive and this 64 gig SSD or even this 64 gig SD card may cost completely different. So one of the reasons you'll see a price discrepancy on a flash drive like this one versus an SSD, even though they have the same storage capacity is usually because of three factors. Number one, the storage controller, which is basically a piece of hardware that sits in between the storage chip and the device it's inserted to, whether that be a computer or a tablet or whatever, uh, which tells it how well it can perform, the longevity of the actual flash cells on there, things like that, temperature if it needs to thermal throttle, which is the number two reason how well that heat can actually be dissipated once you're transferring files between computers or your device, whatever it is, that generates heat like any other computing hardware. And if you have a you know, thick device like this, which is made of metal, or you have like a really tiny flash drive, you know, one, at one point or another, it's going to have to thermal throttle. And number three, which is what most people know, is the I.O. Now, this is one I want to clarify on. A lot of people just see USB 3 or USB 2, and they think, well, it's either fast or it's slow. That's not true at all. These are the biggest misconceptions I see in the consumer and IT world. Basically, a lot of people think that I.O., the actual connector of the storage device, determines speed. You buy a USB 3 flash drive, it must be fast. You buy a USB 2 flash drive, it's slower than the USB 3 flash drive. Well, actually, this is not correct at all. USB 3 and USB 2 are just specs that tell you how fast something can go, in theory. It's maximum theoretical bandwidth. Bandwidth is like lanes on a highway, but just because you have one car going on that highway, or a hundred cars going on that highway, doesn't mean you're fully saturating what that spec can do. So you can actually buy USB 3 flash drives that are slower than USB 2 flash drives at full speed. This is why some flash drives, such as this one, versus some other bad one out there you see for a great sale on Amazon might be significantly cheaper. So to recap, essentially what I mean is when you try and get that flash drive on an amazing sale, make sure you look at the reviews for a couple things because it's probably not as good as you think. Number one, does it overheat due to bad engineering or a bad storage controller? Usually this means the flash drive is too small and it thermal throttles. When you transfer files back and forth, it'll actually slow itself down pretty significantly to continue copying those files and operating. Number two, are the actual chips on the device that hold the stored files of good quality? If they're not, you're more susceptible to data loss. Usually you'll see a chunk of review somewhere that say, failed after three months, failed after one month, failed after six months. You ideally want this flash drive to last for as long as your computer would or as long as you need it in its lifespan before something newer comes along or it eventually just collects dust and fails. And number three, look at the read and write speeds of the device. Think twice about investing in something maybe a little bit more, maybe $20, $30 more where you actually start to see massive gains. You're basically throwing money down the toilet and eventually it could cost you important files if the flash drive fails altogether, or your SD card fails altogether, or your SSD fails altogether. That extra little bit of money might be the difference between waiting a couple hours or even waiting seconds. So that's why I would consider investing in better, faster flash memory.